Hey everyone, today we're making a video how we pick a hotel to stay at in a Disneyland resort area. First thing we decide on is a budget and we are a little bit flexible with our budget. We might go a little bit higher than what we're thinking and we might go a little bit lower. Our main goal is to get the most bang for our buck. So we try to get the best rate at the best hotel or motel that we can get for the time that we're going. One thing to really remember is there's a lot of extra fees. So make sure when you're pricing the hotels that you get the tax rate, the parking rate, and any additional fees like resort fees as well. So the first thing we do is we kind of just bring up Google Hotels and look in the general area, mainly across the street is where we always look first and see if any of the places are in our budget. If there are some within our budget, then we go directly to the hotel or motel's website because usually you get the best pricing if you book direct. As a side note, if you do go regularly, a lot of the hotels and motels in the area offer a cheaper fee for people that are returning guests, so that's always something to ask for as well. Once we kind of narrow down our choices to two or three, we also do look a little further out of the walking distance area to see, again, if we can get more bang for our buck. And the most important thing to consider if you're looking further away, not within walking distance, is to add in those fees for transportation. So if you're going to take art, or if you're going to Uber and Lyft, or if you're to drive yourself and pay the $25 parking fee at the Disneyland Resort, make sure you add that into your total cost. And one thing to also look out for, a lot of the hotel fees are hidden or out of date on the website. Go ahead and contact that hotel that you pick and find out and confirm what the parking resort fees are. Next up, we're gonna be discussing the amenities and the two major amenities we'll talk about are pools and included breakfast. First off with pools, some hotels do have new regulations surrounding the pool regarding COVID. So you have to make a reservation and you're allowed maybe two hours a day and other pools do not have those regulations and it's just a free-for-all. You need to find out what the pool policies are if the pool is, is an important amenity for you. Additionally, the same applies for included breakfast. Some hotels have canceled their included breakfast. Others have changed their breakfast offerings because of COVID. And if this is an important amenity for you, we encourage you once again to call and confirm what exactly the hotel is doing for their breakfast because a lot of the websites are out of date. Once we've narrowed down our choices to two or three hotels or motels, the next step we do to make a decision is to do as much research as possible. So we look on TripAdvisor, we look on Yelp, we look on Google, we search Disney forums if there's any recent reviews for the places we're looking at, and we just try to read as many reviews as possible. Um, in terms of TripAdvisor, we only go back usually about six months or so and look and see what the current reviews are. That really helps us make a decision. So we take that into account with the budget and the proximity to the park, and then we kind of decide from there. If you're finding this information valuable, please hit the like button. It really helps us out. And now we're going to move on to parking. Parking has dramatically changed in the Disneyland Resort area, and we actually didn't believe this at first, but the parking lots are packed full of cars. Most people are driving to the Disneyland Resort and they're not getting those international visitors like in the past. Parking policies have changed dramatically. First off, call the hotel once again to find out if you can park before check-in and how late you can park after checkout. If you're going to go to the park on your checkout day, you may have to factor that additional money to park at Disneyland. Certain hotels are now valeting off property. I know we're not a big fan of that at all. I'm okay with valet as long as it's on property. Confirm with the hotel to find out what their valet or parking options are like. One quick note, we just wanted to throw this out there from our experience is if you have kids that are still stroller age, we highly recommend if it's within your budget to try to stay within walking distance. It's just so much easier not to hassle with a shuttle when you have a stroller. And if you have any comments or questions about this or any other topic, leave them in the description below. We'll get to them soon. Thank you again. We'll see you next week.